What's going on guys? It's me, Yandra Gaming. Welcome back to yet another episode of Minecraft Sky Island Challenge Survival. If you missed the last episode, be sure to go check it out so that you understand what's going on in this one. And if you're new to the series, as always, check out the first one because you cannot miss the first episode and then somehow try and figure out what's going on in episode 5. So, today, um, I would like to thank you guys for showing me support in the last episode in which I got 12 likes. We, our goal was 20, but I will take 12. 12 likes is amazing. That's more than we got on the first episode, which we got 10 on. And I just want to thank you guys personally for all the support. It really means a lot to me. I want to set a goal maybe today of maybe 15 likes. In the last episode, we were able to get 12. But if we can get to 15, um, that would be even better. I want to slowly start progressing up, and I would like to thank you guys... To those of you that do leave likes, it really, really helps me out. So I want to thank you once again. Okay, that's going to be enough for that. I'll stop ranting now. Um, today, we are going to start this tree farm going because uh, what what it means for us is that we can have trees grow, right? And then after the trees start decaying and we chop them down, um, hopefully we'll get some apples because we need to replenish the full health in order to be able to go and safely go conquer some dudes in this little spawner that I've made. Right now my problem is that I'm at half a heart and I can't really risk um, dying or else I'll kind of lose the challenge right now. So that's going to be the plan for today. We're going to get this tree farm going and expand it out a little bit. I know I started it a little bit off camera, but that's just to kind of help, um, you know, keep this series going fast. I don't want to, I don't want this to slow down at all and make it not interesting. So yeah, right now we're going to expand this platform out a little bit more. Um, I'm, I have no shortage of wood at the moment, so that's why I'm making this platform with wood. And I think it actually looks pretty nice with wood and then having the fencing material surrounding it. I think it looks quite amazing in my opinion. Um, so yeah, uh, I forgot what I was going to say. I was going to say thank you to, oh yes, B, I was going to say thank you to B and the Beast because he's the one that suggested me, um, to do this, um, tree farm here. I was going to eventually do it, but he kind of helped me <laughs> do it faster than I was eventually going to do it before. So thank you, B and the Beast, for suggesting this. He actually made a video tutorial on showing me how to make this cool, um, or how, showing me how to make a tree farm similar to this one, kind of similar, this is kind of my own take on it, but he also showed me this awesome cobblestone generator, I would have made the one he showed me, but we actually have this cool one going on right now, and I'm really liking how this one works, and it, I think it, it serves its purpose for me at the moment, it works quite well, it's like constant, it's constant chopping, I'm never like waiting or anything for a, a block to spawn, so that is really efficient in my opinion. Um, and we've got, yeah, it's pretty fast. I think I can get about a stack in around a minute and a half or so. I think I clocked it in around that time. Um, oh, and off camera, I did kill one more spider. I killed one spider. So we've got two pieces of string now. And what that means is we can make a fishing rod, but I think that comes in a later challenge. Wow, I almost felt like I was going to fall off the map right there. <laughs> that was almost terrifying. Um, I should probably cover this up, huh? I don't really want to... Falling off the map does not sound like something that appeals to me at the moment, so let's not do that. Yes, okay, so that's going to that's gonna prevent me from falling off. Uh, it, what do you guys think of this, um, tree farm that I've got going on? I think it's actually pretty nice, in my opinion. I, I do like it so far. I think I was going to be cooking some more torches in, its, in my, um... Not cooking the torches. I was cooking some charcoal here. Yes, okay, cool. So we're going to turn this into more torches. And then the torches should help light up the trees at night and help them grow a little bit more efficiently. I'm not sure how much it helps, but I'm sure it helps a little bit. Okay, we're going to just... I want to keep the lighting going here because I don't want them, like, there to be a uh, mob that spawns on our spawns on our island here. That would be terrifying if we were, like, out there and somehow a guy spawned on our island. Not that would not that would not be fun at all. But let me tell you, I, that might mean I would die. So yes, not we're not going to allow that to happen. I think I'm just gonna put a torch uh, near like every tree post here, and maybe that'll help them grow a little better. Actually, wait, no, I think that might interfere with the tree. All right, so then how could I do this? How could I do this? Maybe a torch in the middle of all of these trees. Yes, that might that might be a little better. Yeah, I think that's going to be a little bit more beneficial for us. So my next tree is going to be right there, and that means I need to expand this out a little bit more. Just a little bit more. Um, we've got, as you can see, we've got plenty of saplings. We're not short on saplings at all. Our only problem, I guess, is a limited amount of dirt, and then the rate at which it drops apples. I wish it would drop apples a little bit more frequently, but, um, I mean, I guess there's really nothing we can do about it to change it. So, yeah, that's... That's what we're going to be trying to do right now. Basically, just get a ton of apples and somehow hope to get plenty of health from those all those apples. 
Look at this massive tree. I, I don't know how that one got so much bigger than the other ones, but it did, and it's it's really annoying me at the moment. I don't want to go up there and chop it down because I feel like I'm going to fall off and then die. And <laughs> that would be so anticlimactic, just death by falling out of a tree. That's that's not what you expect. You, some, you expect something glorious to kill you. Okay, it looks like... Wait a second. We've got another spider. This might be promising. If we can lure just the spider, then we're going to have something going for us. Wait. I think I see a zombie. Oh, what is that? What is that? No, what? Is that a witch? No, that's a zombie, but it's like a special zombie. All right, we're going to kick you off. I don't really want you on my island, so get just just leave me. Okay. <laughs> He's done. Oh god, we it's the attack of the zombies. Attack of the zombies. Oh my goodness. Okay, we're going to we're just going to try and knock these bros off. I don't Yep, just just get off my map. Get off. Oh no, there's 3 of them. We're not doing this. We're not doing this. Okay, do not bang down my door. I'm going to chop your feet. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't bang down the door. Can I hit their hands through this? Look, their hands are coming through and I can't hit them. Ah, <laughs> look at them. They're just chilling there. Okay, I'm, I'm running away. I'm just going to pretend like they don't exist. I don't want to deal with them right now. Let's check out what loot we've got. So we've got a couple spider eyes. We've got some gunpowder. We're going to need that for a later challenge. Just hold on to your horses there for that one. We've got sand. We're also going to need that later for a challenge. Leftover iron. I don't really know what to do with that yet, but I'm saving that because I don't want to spend it on a sword or something because at the moment, I think we're pretty much set with the stone sword. I mean, we can't really... We don't really need anything more than that right now. Look at these guys. They're just chilling. I, I kind of want to kill them for the XP or something, but at the same time, not really. Um, oh, no, I did not mean to hit the door. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. This is escalating quickly. Die. Die, 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 die. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my Oh, uh, <laughs> I did not mean to hit that door, I swear. I just about died. I, I had a heart attack in real life right there. I... <laughs> oh, I, need, I need to rethink my life and look off into the distance. Oh my god. I can't believe that just happened. Honestly, like, my blood pressure just probably went to, like, one bazillion right there. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I was expecting this to be a calm episode in which I just planted some trees. This is going to be a nice episode, and so far, it's... I almost died. Uh, and we've got some nice little zombie veins, brains floating on the ground here. Why don't we go store those? I don't know what I would need to have those for, but we, we've got them. <laughs> if you guys want some zombie brains, don't worry. I, I'm your guy. I've got six of them right now. Um, it would be amazing if we could maybe get a few of these trees to grow, but for now, looks like we're not going to be lucky enough to get any to grow. What can we do though? We can, we have a couple options. I'm actually going to get some more cobblestone and we're going to work on just patching up some, some areas here that might be uh, problematic and might allow me, or might make me like fall off the map. That, that would be an issue and I would not want that to happen. Let's see. Do we, are we even getting cobblestone? There we go. I want to be able to see how much I'm getting. Okay, we've got seven, eight, nine. Pretty much the rate at which you get cobblestone is like a, it's almost like 95% chance of getting it. See right there, I missed one. But it, it's pretty high, and this allows me to get a stack pretty soon, I guess. Better than the other one, for sure. Really, there, none of these are dropping apples. What is with that? Oh, hey, we got our first tree. It's the first tree of the farm. I don't know what I was going to say, first tree of Christmas, but that's not true. Okay, and this is actually, I mean, this is like kind of a double win. Basically, we get a bunch of wood, and we get a ton of saplings, and hopefully we get the apples. That's the only thing I want right now. I don't really care about the wood at the moment. Okay, come on. Let's see if we can just get one, one apple. That's all I want. That's all I want, tree. Just one. Come on. Just one apple. We can do this. We can do this. I promise. I have faith in you, tree. I have faith. Come on. Apple and... Okay, I have a feeling this guy right here. Oh, no apple for me. I wonder if there's a way in which to increase the chances of getting an apple. If you guys know a way to increase the chances of getting an apple, be sure to let me know in the comments down below, and I would really be eternally indebted to you yeah because that is oh my goodness that is just gonna this is gonna hold up the in oh i just had <laughs> i had to like burp really quick sorry about that um this is gonna hold up the entire series if i can for some reason not get any apples and in that case i'll just have to wait and do a whole bunch of uh farming off camera in hopes of getting one we don't really want that i want to be able to show you guys everything that i do but at the same time keep it interesting for you as well because that is important for me i don't want it to be a drag to have to watch this series. I want it to be enjoyable, you know? That's the whole idea about this. I am really enjoying the progress that we're making so far, though. I think we're doing some good stuff here. Um, 
eventually I want to expand this house out and make it look pretty nice. I want it to look all nice and spiffy. Yeah, so we're going to do that in the fu future episodes, though. Don't don't worry about that right now. For now, we're just trying to accomplish challenge number four. Um, I don't think we're going to be able to accomplish the challenge today, but we're going to get a decent... Uh, we're going to get kind of close to that, I guess, When while we're grabbing all these trees, I guess, we're trying to get food. That's honestly the only option that we have right now, and there's really no other method for me to get food. And I guess we're just going to have to deal with this. Oh well, it, it's kind of like uh, it's kind of like this big hump that we got to get over. We got to get over this hunger problem, and then we can solve all of our other challenges. Man, come on, we need some apples. That is, oh, this is frustrating me. This challenge is so hard, so hard. I hope you guys can try it out for yourselves. It is a lot of fun. I admit, it is it is hard, but it's fun, and that is what it's all about. It kind of puts a new twist on Minecraft. Sweet. Okay, so we've got our ch our uh, tree farm going now, and I think uh, we're going to call that an episode. So thank you guys, as always, for checking out this video today. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like and share it with your friends so we can get the most amount of people on this series as possible. Um, oh, hey, we got a tree growing next to us. The tree says hi. <laughs> I guess he's saying hi to you guys at the end of the video. As always, though, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in the next episode.